Hello guys, I hope you guys are feeling good. Today we are back in Mad Skills 2. Let's go! Welcome back to Back to the Basics here on Mad Skills Motocross 2. All right, so today we're going to go in and we're going to unlock bikes number five, six, and seven. Let's jump right into it. We need to do a back flip on fat and skinny and win. Do two front flips on brap and win. Time attack brap on the national leaderboard and finish the jam weeks three days in a row, which should be pretty simple. And of course, unlock bike number four, which we already did. All right, so the only thing I'm not going to show you guys is to time attack, to time attack you're gonna I'll, I'll, we're gonna pass it right now the time attack is right next to to a career mode when we go in here we go hit play career and you see time attack there on the right so you just hit time attack you find the track it's gonna right is um it's gonna be the novice track it's brap you just click it and it will pop up a national leaderboard for you guys and um you could you could filter it um maybe i'll show you that in the next video um you could filter it by bikes this that the other you know so so you're not you're not you don't feel left out racing against much bigger bikes than you so right now here we are trying to do one backflip on fat and skinny and win fat and skinny is a four lap race so momentum is very important and i suggest that you save the backflip for um you know for the last the the second to last um, um lap you do. If you wait until the last lap, you're going to shoot over the finish line and the, the, the computer is going to take control of your bike. You're not going to be able to finish the backflip. Um, so, um, and re, you know, for me, or, uh, uh, my suggestion as a beginner, rhythm is very important. So that's why I suggest you wait until that last lap because it might throw you out of rhythm. And then, um, you know, the, the ace will catch up to you. So I think, um, so this is lap three of four and we're going to do it at the end of lap three heading into lap number four is where i would recommend it of course you can go out mess around have fun you know that the reset button or the restart button is free so you know if you want to go ahead and have fun you want to do a backflip every at the end of every lap and go ahead and have fun so we're going to do it right here it was a little bit late but good, thank goodness we had the little dip there to catch us and, um, and we, you know, we came through on it you know, so so this game here it you know depending on your skill level man it gets very fast and i realize i need to work on my skill level so that's what i plan on doing with this game i, I want to revisit the game and work on you see we come across a line so fast that you wouldn't be able to do it on the last lap i want to you know revisit the game work on my skill level and everything and that's what i'm kind of going through personally so i decided to take you guys through show you at least how to get the bikes if there's anybody you know less um less of an expert than i am so here we're going to go to brap to finish complete brap with um two front flips and you see we're at a big advantage over the ace because the ace is still on bike number one and we're using bike number four so the first that first big jump there you want to try to put a put a front flip there and on this one here also and so be careful on this one because it's easy to overshoot it will be very easy to overshoot that, that last jump and like i said um as far as the time attack is concerned you'll find the time attack right on the outside of um so we, we jump right into the shot from from this board here but um you'll find the time attack right where you go into the career mode and you, you know you choose you choose your um career tracks so there we have bike number five we're moving on to bike number six one thousand attempts against other players all right do six backflips so you do that on your own i'm not going to do that in the video do six black backflips of black sheep is what we're going to do next beat 21 ace times in the career any 21 win three jam races in one day so i'm going to kind of show you guys how to probably get away with beating three jam races and you know jam races is pretty much like the multiplayer race it's uh it's an updated race every week so black sheep is an intermediate level third track from the top all those black black tracks you see on the on the on the other side those are bonus tracks all right so pay attention here one backflip right here is pretty e pretty decent pretty easy to get done the second backflip i believe is pretty easy also is that it no that's not it this one here so right as you come over the hill to the backflip here this backflip coming up is going to be the hardest one you want to try to lead back right here 
and it, the bike tends to want to get jumped up on the front wheel. So you see how much he catches up after that back flip there. So, um, so but he's still at a disadvantage. He's on bike number three, and we are using bike number five here. All right, so uh, yeah, so we just did the fourth one, and then coming up here we go double, double flip there to complete the race in, in the front. So that's six back flips on black sheep right there, and um, like I, um, so I am on bike four myself right now. That's just where I put myself. I put myself on bike four, trying to because bike five is where it really starts getting fast. You can really feel the difference in the speed, right? So. Right here, you see the time attack where it says continue career and time attack right there. That's where you would you would go to time attack to compete. All right, so I'm going to go into multiplayer jam, right, and show you how to. I actually did it already, but the time wasn't even that fast that I um I fell back a little bit. But anyways, the time wasn't even that fast. So I'm going to go ahead. It says you need to do three jam races in one day. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I'm going to go back to bike four, which is my preferred bike to use. The bike I'm using in jam week to you know to stay at a certain level. And uh, we're going to go in here and uh, I make one mistake. I think I could catch it before um, before it happens. So I'll let you guys know. Um, so here, basically, what you want to do is they're going to give you, especially when you're new to Jam Week or, you know, you, you come in from the previous week or whatever the case is, the, co the first competitor that you have, they're not going to be the fastest guy. So what you want to do is not get too far ahead of that guy. And that's kind of the mistake I made on the last run. I got I got a little bit too far ahead of the last guy, and then they gave me a very fast. But they gave me actually a bike number five, run bike number four. They gave me a bike number five competitor, but we were still able to pull it off. All right, so here he is. He's 13 meters behind me. I'm gonna slow down right here. I'm gonna allow him to catch up. All right, and so he's now he's 40 behind me, which is pretty far behind. You probably want to keep him within about 10 meters away from just to be safe so um i think i'm going to slow down a little bit more uh, or the whoops here the whoops slowed me down enough so he caught up to about 10 12 meters right there and nine meters away. so he's right behind me right good so you don't want to come in too far ahead of your competitor and this will allow you so here we're going to go hit the play button right it, it, it's going to take you back out to the front screen to the home screen you do it again it's going to load a new um player for you so you can see this is a new player here it was a yellow bike the first time now we're in a green bike all right um moving so fast on this all right and so this is a new competitor here and again you want to do the same thing i made a mistake here i get i don't know if he was giving me so much pressure i just ran away with it and i end, end up leaving whoa, whoa look at that bounce and he saved it <laughs> I don't know if he was pressuring me so hard, I just kept running. I think the thing, the problem was I didn't remember the track itself. You know, a jam track is a new track we get every week. I think I just didn't remember the track, how it was. I think this is the ghost town. Ghost town, they're having a background there. I don't know if that's a Halloween theme or not. I don't think it does not look spooky enough to be a Halloween theme, but it does look like a ghost town. So right here, um, I think, see, I still don't know the track. So you come over the whoops, and then I think you have one more hump. So I should have, I should have started slowing down all the way back here. So I'm going to try to slow down when I see the line. He's going to hit the brake, but it was too late. I was 33 meters ahead of him when I crossed the finish line, which is a, a big gap, pretty much. Um, if, if you do that against uh, a player in a... Um, what do they call this? Um, you know, it's like the, the private matches here. Um, I wonder if I go back out, I'll be able to show you what I'm talking about. That, that will be considered um, domination, 33 meters ahead of your, of your opponent. So here we are, we're in bike number four, and our opponent, opponent here is bike number five now. So I'm going to have to work really hard. I had to work really hard to try to get this video done for you guys to show you how to beat three three consecutive races you know. so just remember what you want to do is not finish too far ahead of the opponent even if you lose a couple of times trying to wait for the other guy it's worth it you know i mean if, you, if you're if you're in a hurry that is trying to unlock your um, your next bike right. and, um, 
and you might be able to, to, to switch over to the other track. So you could beat, beat two guys on one track and maybe switch over because you get two tracks every jam week. So you may be able to do um, two, do it twice, beat them twice, beat somebody twice on one track and then flip over to the next track. So we barely got him six meters ahead of him when we were there. You know, beat somebody twice and then flip over to the next track. And if you come out here, you backpedal here, they're going to show you, um, oh, we jump straight into the shop from there. All right, so boom, we got our bike number six. Yes, going to pick up bike number six. And then bike number seven is beat 36 tracks in careers. You could do that. Beat 32 ace times in career. Win three consecutive jam rounds. Um, and then beat some hollow in 38 seconds. Three consecutive jam rounds. I think that just means competing every week and advancing to the next level, to the next level, to the next level. So they're just kind of... Forces. So versus versus multiplayer, right? That is where if you beat somebody by 33 meters, it would be. So I'm showing you here. I hope you saw that. If we go into the cog, the white cog at the top of the screen there, and you actually have it here also. Then when we go into a track, you see. Uh, no, it's it's not on this screen here. So if you if you can't find that where to turn your rockets on, because we can beat this with the rockets. You see the rockets on the right side there. You'll go into where the white cog is. You, you click that button and I'll show you where you could enable or disable your rockets. I know I normally keep them disabled so I don't accidentally bump them and I'm killing. In the in the in the later stages you might need to use them to beat the um the boss. So this here it took me a few tries because I was trying to see if I could actually beat it without using the rocket. So it took me a few tries. And then um you can see here this is the best place to hit, on the downhill for me. If you just want to use one rocket to win the race, right there when you come over those those whips and you start going downhill, you hit that rocket, it gives you a boost going down the hill and it completely launches you up the other side of the track. So um, that's going to be pretty much it, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. Here's your man, Jack in the middle. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I think for the next one, we're just going to do the um the next two bikes and then because there's something special i want to show you guys on how to unlock bike number 11. so i don't want the video to be too long so we'll just do the next two bikes coming up next bike number eight bike number nine so there we are claiming bike number seven thank you guys for hanging out with me if you're new to the channel please subscribe please like the video if you did and um you know leave any comments let me know how you guys are doing in the game if you have the game all right i'll catch you guys in the next one i appreciate y'all Y'all be blessed. Bye-bye.